Okay, this is my instructional video on how to use the car camcorder FHD 1080p. These things are available really, really cheaply from Chinese manufacturers on the internet, um, but unfortunately are practically impossible to get working because the instructions are utterly terrible that come with them. Um, also, the panel of buttons on the bottom um, is really difficult to see when you're actually trying to use it and generally it just is a really confusing device so the first thing you want to do is plug this in to charge and give it a really really good period of time to charge and then you'll be able to play with it properly um, second thing is when you turn this on you get this little picture and that annoying sound um, when you go into the menu by pressing the menu button on the bottom guess what it's all in whatever language that is so what we need to do is press the menu button a second time and you'll see at the top of the screen that the little camcorder is highlighted and we press it the second time it goes to the cogs which represents the settings then using this right hand button here um, we can go down to the speech bubble which is your language option um, press the go button um, it's really easy at this point to press the menu button um, and do it wrong um, so make sure you press go and then you'll get a choice of different languages and you can select your own language and then suddenly it looks a whole lot more usable. The other thing that is really confusing about this is that the menu button gives you a different menu depending on what mode you're in. So we'll need to go through the different modes first of all. Um, if you look in the top left hand corner of the screen there is a little camcorder icon and if we press the mode button that switches to a camera and if we press the mode button again that switches to a playback mode where you can watch the videos and pictures that you've stored so for example if we go to the camera page like this um, we can press the OK button on the bottom and we can take a picture of whatever that is um, and then you can press the mode button to go to your playback to actually look at the picture that you just took um, if we go into the uh, camera setting and then press go then you get the little flashing red in the corner of the screen to tell you that it's recording video so you can start and stop video like that um, so that's your three modes and it's important to understand that the mode screen that you're in whether that's camcorder or camera or playback will affect the menu options that you get when you press menu. So if we go ahead and press menu now on the playback screen, we only get these three options which are playback specific. We can delete the contents of the SD card, we can protect files against deletion, or we can do a slideshow. And as always, if you press menu a second time, that will take you to the settings menu, which is the same as we saw before. So let's go into the camera section. Um, why you would want to use this as a camera I don't know but then we press menu and now you can see that the options that you get are three pages worth um, about camera stuff so you can change the quality change the white balance all that sort of thing um, there's your options for using it as a camera so let's go into the video recording mode that's the mode that obviously you're going to be using because you want to put this in your car um, and then if we press menu here um, you can change the settings now I had a problem with this uh, recognizing the memory cards um, I was using a large capacity memory card um, I took that out and put a 2 gig card in that solved all the problems I was having so I've left it with the 2 gig card in it um, I'm only going to be recording a short loop over and over anyway because it's a, a dashboard camera so I don't need the 32 meg card sorry 32 gig card that I had um, so if I go through these options we can change the resolution that the device records in um, I'm not 100% convinced when it says it's 1080p that it actually is but uh, I'm going to set it at that anyway um, we can change the length of the loop, so I'm just going to have it record in 5 minutes and just continually over wiping itself with the 5 minute recordings um, and uh, you can mess around with the exposure, whatever that does um, you've got a motion detector here which is really really good, if you turn that on then it's going to record um, video when it detects movement so that way you can just leave it set up and it'll just record whenever your car's moving which is cool you've also got a separate option here for recording audio so we'll have that 
it's always worth knowing what was on your stereo when you have a car crash um, and you can put the date stamped onto your video um, as well um, so that is really how to get this thing um, up and running um, so key things are get it into English put a memory card in that's compatible with it um, and set your motion sensor on so that it's recording whenever you uh, are moving um, if you do get the low battery light which you will get because the battery in this thing doesn't last very long you can plug it into a cigarette lighter adapter in your car uh, to charge um, and the last thing to show is if you do connect it to your PC um, use a mini USB cable which plugs in like that and then what will happen is the uh, the system will actually detect that you've plugged that cable in and you've got two options if you select mass storage that just basically turns the entire unit into a SD card reader um, so if you don't have an SD card reader already basically this will become like a disk drive and you can just drag and drop and copy all your video clips onto your computer um, or if you select PC camera um, that will allow you to use this as a webcam and to be honest it's not actually that bad a little webcam as well certainly you know considering it doesn't really cost a lot of money um, so there you go if you wanted um, to record a an accident if you've just literally had a crash or something um, all you've got to do is pull yourself out of the wreckage and press this red button um, on the side here and that will immediately store and protect the last five minutes or whatever of video um, that's been recorded uh, that is pretty much it if you want to know whether this thing's worth buying you know what if you can get it cheap enough it's not bad it does the job um, once you've sort of worked out how to use it it's you know can't really knock it it's very very cheap um, if you are comparing this to the things that cost you 100 pounds 200 pounds um, on the high street obviously it's nowhere near that sort of standard but it's not bad it does the job um, the main thing for me was it's just completely impossible to use until you know what all these different menu options do um, so hopefully this video has been a bit helpful